tonight. What do we come up with? Nothing. How much do you want? Ten thousand. Now you stay away from me or I swear I'll belt you right in that bay. I need help, Don. You need your head examined. What did they look like? Youngish. Lieutenant, you got a warrant? 
I got probable cause. You had, Lieutenant. Had. You want to search me or can I take this John. You can search all you want. You won't find anything. Martin, stand. Check out the car. I would save myself the trouble, Martin. We get paid for trouble, Reggie. Up. Oh. Turn out your pockets. Imagine my apartment getting hit by a couple of kids. Kids? I mean, you guys aren't doing your job very good. Where is all the law and order I hear about? A clean shot at a back office, one in a thousand. We come up dry. Oh, Reggie got tipped. Not even a lousy piece of paper. Cash rooms, fronts, handbooks. We could bust them day and night. What do we come up with? Nothing. A lousy back has it all. All the bets, all the records that we need to put them away. The world is full of Reggie Nortons. <laughs> Hello, Doug. Come on in. Dell, fix him a drink. <clears throat> I don't like being seen coming here, Reggie. Yeah, only this time is important. I had a half an hour notice, you know that? Do you know what I had to move in a half an hour? It wasn't my fault. Oh, I'm not blaming you. Who could have known that a couple of punks would pick me out to make a hit, right? <laughs> only now we got a problem. I don't see it as my problem. That box you guys have, phone bills and stuff, that's to an empty room now, so that don't hurt. A little cash, and that don't hurt either. But that oh, and pay slip, that's long-term money. Oh, that could hurt. Only if your new back office is dumped. And we match up the figures. Who's to say that it won't be? Get rid of the records. Big stuff. I don't collect for a couple of months. Maybe 150,000 worth. Chance you take, Reggie. Why should I have to take a chance when I've got you? Get me that O and pay sheet. You're out of your mind. I think it makes good sense. Bookmaking is no more a 300 buck fine anymore. That presiding judge and the DA, I mean, they've sent a couple of guys like me to the joint for it. Now, you listen to me, Reggie. We might have done some business in the past. By my laying off you or letting you know if someone was getting too close, but stealing evidence from the property room, that's out. I know, I know. You got every right to feel that way. I understand. Only you got to understand me, too. I am not going to the joint. Now, we've helped each other before. And we both made out. So we'll help each other again, that's all. There's no way I'm doing it, Reggie. You will do it. A lot of coppers have been fingered by guys like you. You'll never make it stick. No? No. Show him how we'll make it stick. Oh, this is a nice movie. <clears throat> Look at me. Three, three hundred dollars. Oh, boy, who's gonna get that, do you think, Del? Huh? Oh, look at that. I put it between the newspaper, right? Oh, what a nice movie is this. Oh, I see. I put, I see. I leave it on the bench. And I'm coming back now. Hey, that's a pretty good actor, don't you think, Del? Not bad, right? Not bad. Well, looky, looky, looky. Hey, is that you? Oh, the hanky panky. <laughs> That's only a copy of your original, in case you got any funny ideas. <clears throat> So you see, Doug, you got to do this thing for me. Oh, come on. Don't be sore. You think I asked you to do this thing if I didn't have to? Please, Doug, do it for me. Think about your wife and kid. Mom said 
wife would stay up and watch the end of the program. He wraps you right around his little finger. He's his father's son. You want something to eat? No, not yet. Oh, come on. No way. What's the matter? Well, it's so phony. Nobody can take your gun away like that. It's dumb. Then why watch? It's fun. Okay, you've seen the end. Get to bed. Oh, uh, I think it's the end. Come on. Let's get to bed. Make me a bowling ball. Don't forget to brush your teeth. <clears throat> Nobody could take your gun away like that. Yeah, I'm a hero. Something wrong? Is something wrong? No, no, nothing. Then I, uh, I've got to call Don. Not only does my wife think I'm cheating on her, but she picked a lousy night to be near the water. Thanks for coming. Didn't you think I would? I mean, all I had to do was hear the tone of your voice. You and Liz having problems? No, no. Some other dame got her hooks into you? Nothing like that. Okay, you tell Uncle Don, only let's find us someplace warm with a bar, huh? I'm in big trouble. Gonna help me? I'm your partner. No matter what. Come on, how serious can it be? Sure, I'll help. You need money or something? I'm on juice. Reggie Norton. Almost seven years. You're putting me on. I wish I was. Seven years? I never saw it. I never thought it. I was careful. What are you telling me this for? Why now? Why couldn't you keep your big mouth shut? Why did I have to know? Don. Stay away from me. Now you stay away from me or I swear I'll belt you right in that bay. I need help, Don. You need your head examined. That Reggie's got me in a vice. And I'm gonna get out and I don't care what I have to do to do it. What do you want me to do, help you kill him? I'm not that bad. How do I know that? Yeah. How the hell do I know what you're liable to do? Because you've known me for a long time, that's why. I don't know you at all. You know, I'd have turned you into internal affairs right now. It's a chance I took. You don't think I will? Do you know what you did to me? You made me an accessory tonight. I'd have turned you in just to save my own butt. I think I have a way out. But I need help. I need someone to back my play. I don't believe you. Now you want me in deeper. You're crazy, you know that? You're crazy. Are you gonna help me? I don't know if I'm gonna help you. It takes more than a second for me to make up my mind. I'm gonna find someplace warm.
mouth? Yeah, gag. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. Hey, hey, now. You guys have been partners too long with that kind of talk. Leave us alone, will you, Penny? Look, these two are on the house. A little peace offering, you know? Come on, now. Make it up, you guys. I got a long shot in my head. Thousand and one odds. It gets me out. It takes Reggie down. And I'm taking him down. All the way down. What are you gonna have to do? Use everybody I know. Including me? Probably. Pacey we have on Reggie. Now, that's got to make him nervous. If we find a knock over his new back, we've got him cold. Yeah, he probably got rid of the records by now. Well, maybe not. That's a lot of money. Yeah. He plays it safe. You know that. Yeah, well, suppose he doesn't have to dump those records. Suppose I use that O-sheet to dupe myself into him. Now, what do you mean? I contact Reggie. I'll let him know I can use some extra bucks. And then I might be able to get that sheet. That's entrapment. Yeah, for bribery, sure, we can't make that stick. But once Reggie gets what he wants, once I'm duped into him, don't you think he's gonna find some other things for me to do? What do you think? It's sure worth a try. No matter what Reggie thinks up for Doug to do, he's gotta give him information. It's information we could use. I should get a legal opinion. Maybe this whole thing would be thrown out of court. Not if we catch him righteously dirty with the rest of his operation. Charlie, this isn't a two-bit book. His action is spread through this whole city. We get him, and we break the biggest book in this town. I know. Well, let him think he's putting me on juice. What could it hurt? Okay. Give it a try. See what happens. Right. I haven't been sleeping so good, thanks to you. I keep thinking about it. Thinking about what? About the light blue sky. What do you think I'm talking about? You must have needed the money awful bad. That's the hell of it. I didn't. Twenty Victor Ford, to the units that are assisting in taking down Reggie's cash room, are you in position? Twenty Victor Twelve, and the Roger, they are in position. Twenty Victor Fifteen, we are in position. Three TA to the cash room. punk when I first busted him, you know? A nut. That was a good arrest. I saw him get a $200 fine. Well, I busted him four more times. He was back in business before I finished making the reports. Cut him dirty again. He says to me, what's it gonna cost me? Two, three hundred dollars? Right? Welcome to the party. Simmons is on foot and approaching. That's a Roger. Okay, he says that's part of the game. So here's 300 bucks now. Saves me a trip to court. Come on, stick it in your pocket. You can use it better than a judge. So you took it. That's right. Because I was madder in hell because he was right. I took it and I took a lot more. Made a deal I'd lay off of. You know, and feed him information. Now and then if somebody else was getting close. Afternoon, 
Sergeant. Pete, you never used to have all that junk there. You never used to run so fast. Let's go. He owes me twelve forty. So so on. Place being closed is a public nuisance. What's Reggie gonna think about one of his cash rooms getting knocked over? I don't care what he thinks, I'm still a cop. Yeah. Cop on the take. Why didn't you stop? I was gonna stop, except the money was coming in handy. First I used it to buy things we wanted. After a while I didn't want it anymore, I needed it. But I never did anything else wrong, Don, I swear. I'm a bad guy. You're a bad cop. Is that the same thing? I'll tell you what I think. I think if you hadn't taken juice from Reggie, you'd have found somebody else sometime. Awfully late. Aren't you ever coming to bed? Sure, in a minute. Doug, what's wrong? Nothing. Hey, don't tell me that. I mean, I know you too well. You haven't been yourself in days. Share? It'll work out. <laughs> Please share. I can't. Doug, I have a right to know. It is not now. Why not now? What's the matter with you? Do you think I don't know that you're up half the night? I mean, I can't ignore that. Yeah. You... You haven't come near me in over a week. It isn't something I've done, is it? Well, it's not you. It's not you. How could you think that, huh? You sure? Hey. How could it be you, huh? Doug, I have a right to the bad times as well as the good. I can't. Just love me, that's all. No matter what. You haven't said anything since we left the office. I'm thinking. Change your mind? You said it was a good idea. Only it won't work. Why? Reggie's too smart. He's also worried. And worried people make mistakes. That includes you too, baby. I'm gonna talk to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want a suit? You want to work out? No. Do 
should. Man should never let himself get out of condition. We've been looking over the property room. Yeah. Tight. You used to work burglary detail, didn't you? You should know how to get into it. There's someone there around the clock. I don't want to know any excuses, huh? I want the O-sheet. I know how to get it. So what's the fuss? Well, I could sign it out, look it over, sign it back in without the O-sheet. That's simple. So what's the big deal? The big deal is I'm caught. They can't prove I took it. But they'll know that I lifted that uh, sheet. And then I'm a man without a job. I didn't expect to get it for free, buddy. How much? I'd be a man with a family and no job. I happen to know a man who could give you work if you need it. Guaranteed? A hundred percent. Well, I wouldn't want a job running a little handbook in a barber shop or a cash room. <laughs> what kind of work do you have in mind? When you were a two-bit book, you had me. Now you're a big organization. Every vice cop in town is looking for you. Maybe you could uh, use some more friends. Some of your buddies need a little cash, huh? I got a lot of buddies all over town, in every division. And they're tired of watching the parade go by. They want in. Wouldn't that be nice? I have a lot of friends all over town. What I want is a few grand. What for? Spread around town, get some goodwill. I didn't make up my mind yet. Then make up your mind, Reggie. Make up your mind, you Duffy. <laughs> OK, you got a deal. You wouldn't be trying anything funny, would you? Hmm? Funny. Now, what would that give me? Huh? A time in the joint. Or, uh, or an early grave. Take your choice. Huh? <laughs> anymore. I'm... Listen, it'll be all right. He doesn't... he doesn't laugh anymore. He doesn't even know we're around. Well, he's got a lot on his mind. What? It's not my place to tell. Don, you're his friend. You're my friend. Please. Liz, if he wants you to know, he'll say. Is it the job? Is he is he having some trouble at the job? Liz, please don't ask me. Just don't ask me, all right? Anybody can do. Here's the original O sheet. Three certified copies. And we have others. Duly witnessed in case this thing blows. Is there any way Reggie can find out? Not unless he owns the chief. Deck. 
Worst thing you can do to a deck is to walk on it in those shoes. Welcome aboard the new toy. <laughs> Never mind the sarcasm. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like this? Hey, good to get away from the smog, isn't it? Smog will get you if you stay in it too long. Yeah, I guess. You want a beer? I want a deal. Well, let me see. It's an original. Three copies. Good. A little bonus to make life a little more pleasant. How much do you want? Ten thousand. That's a big number. I might have a lot of legal fees. Yes, you probably will. Okay, you got it. Ah, uh, about that job. Listen, you want to take a cruise? It's the only way in the world to get fresh air. Come on, Penny, get out of the way. I can't see the game. Now listen, I pay for color. I'm going to get color. Well, if you'd stop buying hot goods, you could get a service contract too. Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny. You gotta talk to you. Yeah, now that's cool. I want you to turn me in. Did you hear what I said? No. I said I, I want you. I still didn't hear it. You think I'm made of iron? First you tell me all that garbage, make me a part of it. Now you want me to turn you in. That's right. I spread ten thousand bucks around in a couple of banks who dumb. I want you to tell Internal Affairs where to look for it. You said you wanted to get out of this mess. You had a plan. Now you're walking right into it. Don, if you don't turn me, they're gonna think you were in on it. You'll do it. Or I'll tell them you were in on it. You're using me. That's right. To protect you. You're some kind of a friend, you know that? Why are you turning him, Hamlin? Aren't you getting your share? I didn't have to come to internal affairs. No, maybe you did. Maybe you were afraid we'd get onto it and be coming to you. I'm not dirty. Well, I guess we'll find that out, won't we? Now, Sergeant Morgan, I came here to cooperate. Accusing me isn't going to make me feel very friendly. I don't look for friends. Just clean cops. All right, forget about it. Sit down. Now, tell it to me again, all of it. That's an order, Sergeant. Well, he has too much money for no reason at all. He has had for a long time. I didn't think anything about it until I heard him talking to Reggie Norton on the phone like they were old pals. Well, this, uh, this Norton fellow, what's he into? You know, they ought to send you guys out in the field once in a while so you know what's going on. Sergeant Rollins' uh, deposit record for this year. Previous years are at the main branch. What about a safe deposit box? Well, he has one, but uh, your warrant doesn't cover opening it. Report says he's been seen talking to Norton, but his lieutenant says it's okay. He's duped into something. Does Parks know why Doug's under surveillance? None yet. Well, that's good. Why? In case I was wrong. Well, there's one thing you're not wrong about. He's got too much money. And he didn't inherit it. Doug.
Doc? I've been on juice. A long time. I'm a crooked cop. I have enough of Reggie's confidence to pull it off. Hmm. You're gonna tell him that we were getting ready to bust his new back office, that he better get over there and move it? Hey, follow us and uh, lead you right to it. We're supposed to know where it is. How come you don't? I stole the own pay sheet, didn't I? I'm supposedly damn near suspended. Now, why would you tell me anything? Yeah, that flight. Okay, it goes down tonight. Make it easier for him. Tell him you talk to me. Tell him I said that uh, I'd be willing to spill my guts. You wouldn't want to tell me what you have in mind, would you? Right now, the less you know, the better. I sure hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So do I. <laughs> I want all cars in position around Reggie's pad a good half hour before Doug gets there. Give Please, yourself I a can't decent talk minute. now. We're busy. I don't want us pulling we'll up like this. Like Please, son. Don, your point car. I promise. The exit this I promise I'll tell you tonight. Everything. Anybody got any questions? Are you looking for me? I don't know. Are you Lieutenant Parks? That's right. I'm Sergeant Martin. IA. I want to see one of your men. Who? Sergeant Douglas Rollins. All right, in my office. Doug, come on. All right, what's on your mind, Sergeant? My business is with Rollins. He's coming up town with me. Right now? Yeah, right now. He can't. We got a big one ready to go down. I don't care what's going down. Rollins comes with me. What do you mean you don't care? We got a chance to catch ourselves the biggest book in town like right now. Do it without him. He can't. Then call it off. Like hell I will. Look, I don't know what your beef is with Sergeant Rollins, and right now I don't care. I got something going that's too important to blow. What did you do to me? I got to make a deal, Charlie. What kind of a deal? It's a deal for me personally, or it's all off. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, it's off. Well, not as far as I'm concerned. We put too much into this and we're too close. Now, you get me your lieutenant. That's an order. We're just not knocking over some little handbook or another cash room. We get Reggie, we get the whole bundle. Well, you do it another time. There isn't going to be another time. We take Reggie, the whole organization falls apart. We get him on conspiracy, bookmaking, loan sharking. And when he gets out, the feds will be waiting for him on income tax evasion. Let me get him tonight. And I'll chop up Doug myself right after. Looks like you got everybody in a nice box, Sergeant. It doesn't have to be. You can have Reggie. What am I asking for, the moon? Yeah, the moon. You can have my resignation. I'll sign it now if you want. 
I just don't want prosecution or publicity. No, that's not asking for much. I just don't want my wife and child to go through it. Hey, I'm going out. I've blown everything. I'm losing my pension. Now, what else do you guys want from me? You committed a felony, Rollins. Don't you realize that? We make deals with felons every day when we get something out of it. Haven't you ever heard of immunity? Well, even if we agreed, what happens when Reggie starts yelling his head off and shows a film? The DA's got no choice. No choice? No choice? Man, how many hours a day does he spend in plea bargaining? Now, what makes me so different? Because you're a cop. I'm sorry, Rollins. No deal. Charlie, are you going to let him get away with this? You shut up. You've crossed me up enough. Are you going to let Reggie slip through your fingers? Like hell. What are you doing? I'm going over your head. Get me Commander Wolf. Lieutenant, the IA is perfectly capable of... Okay, Parks. I'm against it. But I'll call the deputy chief. I'll get back to you later. Hello? Marv, how are you? What's up? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. The officer should be nailed. But this uh, Reggie Norton's a big fish. Very big fish. Hmm. Okay. I'll call the chief. He'll have to talk to the DA, if he's for it. Right. <clears throat> Hello, it's the chief in, please. Would you have him call uh, Deputy Chief Driscoll at home? It's urgent. Thank you. And all you did was lay off him. That's all he asked you to do. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all I ever did for him. I've got a dirty cop in the middle of him. He'll do it for us, but he doesn't want to go to the bucket. No, he doesn't want to cop a plea. He wants no charges brought. Wife and child, you know. He can hand us Reggie Norton. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that. It's good for your record. We want the whole story, Rollins. That is the whole story. Lieutenant Avery. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir, thank you. You got your deal. What's up? Bessie yes, Reggie. Hey, 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 what is this? Huh? Get rid of him. Who is he? Well, don't break up the Beat party, it. mister. Are you crazy? What's the matter with you? You know where the new bank is. Go and uh, wash your hands or something, huh? And you too. Let's move it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna hit in the morning. What? It's straight. I heard him talking. Now, wait, wait a minute. Now, let's just hold on. Are you sure it's mine? They mentioned your name. Where is it? They didn't tell me. It's just by accident I heard him talking. Now, listen, if this is some kind of a double cross. And where would they get me? Time in the joint where they just love coppers. You don't believe me? It's fine. When are they going? I don't know, sometime in the morning. All right. Now you and Dale and me will move it. Let's go. Twenty-three card all units. They're heading eastbound. We've got them. Everything in boxes. Everything here in the box. 
A warrant. Well, Let me see the yeah, warrant. Yeah. Where's my lawyer? So. I'm entitled to a lawyer. I don't say anything without legal counsel. I'm not going to take this okay, rap alone. You wait and see. I'll get you for this. You're not going to get away with this, do you hear? Right. I want to see the DA. I got things I want to tell about him. He's a crook, and I can prove it. He's a crooked cop. Get him out of here. I can't think of anything nice to say. I know. We're not finished with you yet. He'll answer your questions, but not tonight, huh? You guys can get to him anytime you want. Remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll remember that. is like a little pregnant. You may never have to tell Vic the truth. I hope not. But you're gonna have to tell Liz. I did. How'd she take it? What'd she say? Nothing. Then...